Demi, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're just joining us now, welcome! Today's video, I'm very, very excited. It's quite a different video. It's like a makeup challenge video, and I don't think I've done a makeup challenge video before. I know over the last few weeks, I've posted some makeup videos where I've tested out makeup brands, but I don't think I've done a makeup challenge video before. So this is exciting stuff. We're bringing something different to the channel. Can we um, excuse the blotchy tan? Went out last night. Clearly, I'm not the best at doing fake tan, and you know, we've got a bit of blotchiness going on here. So today's video I'm going to be doing the boyfriend chooses my makeup challenge. I got this idea from Soph Does Nails channel. She did this about a year ago and I really liked the idea. However, instead of getting shown to buy me a full face of makeup, I laid all mine out, FaceTimed them and got them to pick makeup items from my already existing makeup collection just because I didn't really want to spend loads of money on makeup um, and I just thought it would be, I've got like most colours in like lipstick and eyeshadows and stuff and I just thought this was a cheaper way to do it because I'm a cheapskate and yeah so basically I laid it all out FaceTime Sean and he chose my makeup for today uh, yeah it's gonna be a disaster because he's literally prick products that I hate using but this is the challenge we've got to do it I did try to like screen record FaceTiming him and him picking the items but um the connection was really bad and I had to like restart it two or three times but yeah so without further rat -a tat tat that's what this video was going to be and I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up. Let's try and get 1,000 thumbs up on this video if it's something you like and if you want us to do more makeup challenges in the future, I definitely can. I've pre-did my eyebrows only because I literally own like two eyebrow products and you know, it would have been ridiculous to kind of get them a pick from the two or whatever. So I've, I've just did the eyebrows, call it cheating, I just call it convenience um but everything else sean did pick so let's just get into it so the first thing that i'm going to do is my primer i picked the nina ritchie instant radiant lift bright and soothes and it fixes makeup primer and it just looks like this i've had this primer a while now i don't tend to use it um n there's no reason i just have primers that I prefer and this one just doesn't make the cut so um yeah I don't use it that often but it's not a bad primer I don't actually mind it okay so once I have primed I'm now going to move on to foundation now we had a bit of a debate about the foundation because he went and picked up this which is the max factor pan stick I used to be a religious user of this but I do have it in the shade cool cup I thought cool cup I 14 and I usually use it for contouring but it was in my foundation basket when he picked it and he said this one and I said to him, well, that's actually what I use for contouring to pick a different foundation. And he said, no, it was in your foundation basket. That's what I want you to use as foundation. So, yeah, he was being a twat. And I have to use this as foundation and I'm not very happy about it because it's literally very, very dark shade. Whoop. Like, I don't know if the camera is going to show you, but it is very, very dark and it's like orangey um so yeah i'm not very happy about that but i do have quite a tan here so it might not look that bad but yeah so this is my foundation <sighs> i absolutely just hate this foundation as well because it's like i used to use the pan stick back when i was in school as like my everyday foundation obviously not this shade though and like right okay this is literally like 10 shades too dark for me even with a tan be a disaster thanks a lot sean hun <laughs> um but yeah the pan stick used to literally be my go-to foundation when i was in school but i just don't use it anymore i just don't like it i don't think it's got good coverage and it really clogs up i don't know if anybody else uses this i find it clogs up and sticks to like dry patches in your skin and stuff but hopefully when I blend it out, it won't be that bad and I'll be able to get away with it. I'm sure we'll find out. But yeah, it's definitely not one. I've still got it in a darker colour because I do like to use it for contouring. But even, I don't even use it for contouring that often anymore. I usually use the um, Revolution sticks. I find them much better. <sighs> I don't know how well, but it's like a really orangey carrot colour not feeling it. It really like blotches and it like sticks to places. It's not, it doesn't give you like a flawless looking foundation base. Doesn't give you that. Um, 
yeah I can't believe like I used to use this on a daily basis in school as well it's like just not my type of foundation anymore really orange as well like come on that's really orange but he was being dead fussy I said to him I'll use that for contouring but pick a different one to use as like an actual foundation and he was like no you had it in the foundation tin that's the one I want you to use as foundation hun it ain't gonna blend in anymore because like it's just not blending it's just caking up and blotching and it's made us pissed off Ugh. So for concealer, Sean picked the Natural Collection Liquid Concealer from Boots. This isn't a really like light shade, so this should lighten us up a little bit. I actually don't mind this concealer. It's not got the best of coverage. Um, obviously, like it only retails at one ninety nine or something, so it hasn't got the best of coverages. But it's not bad. And days when I want a more minimalistic makeup look, then I do actually use this. So. Yeah, that's, that's that. Put some down my nose as well, because I literally want to put it all over to try and lighten up the excuse of the foundation. Um, Honestly, huns, though, if you think this is bad, it gets better. Wait till you see, like, the the eyeshadow palette and everything that he's picked. It's disastrous. I'm just going to bring his in a little bit so you can really, like, see what's going on on the face. By the way, can I just, like, say a massive, massive thank you for how quick my channel's growing at the minute. I know, like... I don't really like obviously if you follow us on Twitter I, I always say thank you on there when I hit like a new milestone or something but like I, I always often don't say it on my videos and I just want to say like a massive thank you because I appreciate it so bloody much like my channel's growing so quick and it's actually unreal how quick it's growing like yeah it's it blows my mind every day when I wake up and I've hit like a new thousand subscribers or few hundred it's absolutely crazy like how many people are watching my videos and that at the minute and I appreciate it so much and, and to be honest it hasn't really lightened up the places that I put it as much as I would have liked it to um yeah like it just I think it's just because the foundation's so dark it's and it's not the best of concealers it's like really struggled to lighten it up which is a bit disappointing I really needed it to lighten up the foundation but it, it hasn't did that 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 well I'm gonna move on to my eyelids now and do my eyeshadow <sighs> the palette that he picked for us to use is the revolution palette and this is the night shimmers palette I did try to explain to him how I would kind of need a matte colour to be like the um cut like crease colour in that but he said he just wanted us to use this as my um palette and he also picked the colours and he said he wanted us to use this lovely green colour this teal green and this dark green as well he said he wanted us to use a mix of them two colours only so thanks Sean for that thanks very much Sean however I'm gonna, I'm, I don't know if this is classed as cheating because he still picked this product. He picked a bronzer for us and what he didn't know is you can use bronzer as a little bit of eyeshadow. So I'm actually gonna use the matte bronzer that he picked as a bit of eyeshadow as well. Then I wanna do that just to try and get a, look, a nice look. So it's not even a matte bronzer but he picked the Technique Bakes Heart Bronzer. It looks like this. Um, and when you take the lid off, it's this like really pretty bronzer. I actually do like it, but it is shimmery. But I'm going to use this section of it and try and use it as a bit of like a crease colour for my um, eyeshadow. And then go in with the greeny colours that he wanted us to use. Like put a bit of this in my crease just to... To be fair though, like it's probably not going to show up because my bloody foundation's that dark. <sighs> Gathering it as much as I can. There, it has actually like really give us a bit of pigment on there, which is good. So I'll just put that aside until I do my bronzer. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the greeny colours that he wanted us to use. Green shade and try and use this as the cut colour. And then I'm going to put the lighter green shade on my actual like lid. I talk as if I know what I'm doing. I honestly don't even have a clue what I'm doing. I'm just rolling with it, seeing how we'll go with things, you know? A, a mouldy green colour, and I'm just like, ugh. Like, this is one colour that I would just never, ever use in the palette. Like, it would be one of the colours that would still be sitting there untouched when I ended the palette, and I would just, like, bin it. Can you see? It just looks like 
it's just not a very pretty colour. It just looks like muddy and just a bit disgusting really. I don't like it. Plus it's shimmery as well, so trying to put a shimmery colour in the crease is just a bit like... And I'm going to put this on my eyelid. Oh, so this is super pigmented. This is actually a really, really pretty colour. It's just not a colour that I would ever, ever use. And, like, I should get more creative with, like, eyeshadows and stuff. But I just feel like I'm just not. But actually, I'm not mad at this colour. I actually really think that that's super pretty. Oh, my God. I'm actually, like, really think that that's nice. Ended a bit. Honestly, I'm not mad at that though. I actually love the greeny colour and I would never ever have picked that up. Sean might have just found my new eyeshadow. Dark greeny colour, but that green is popping. That green is nice, okay? So I am actually going to do what Soph does nails does quite often because I think it looks super pretty with the colour and I'm just going to put it like drag it under here. You're not mad at that. Okay so that's my little eyeshadow look created. I'm now going to move on to bronze in my face and the bronze I've already picked as I showed you before was the Technique Baked Hearts bronzer. Really pick up a selection of the colours wafted off and bronze but honestly this isn't like a dark bronzer and with my foundation being so dark I'm not sure that it's gonna bronze us up which is slightly disappointing not really what I would like I mean to be fair this used to be my go-to bronzer when I wasn't really into makeup I really like this bronzer but it's definitely not a bronzer that I would wear now I'm just not that into it I love my hula bronzer too much to even consider another bronzer Sean wanted us to use my Technique Prism Rainbow Highlighter he's simple he's seen the rainbow and chose it which I'm not mad at I've used this a few times the only thing is this is just doesn't it's not pigmented enough for us that's the only thing I don't like about this one and I'm just going to use this Real Techniques brush um, I love a poppin' highlight, and the times I've used this before, I remember it not to be that pigmented. Okay, well, I'm talking a load of shit because it's very pigmented. Wow. It's made my nose, like, really rainbowy. I need to, like, dull that down a bit. Okay, it's very pigmented. I don't know why I don't use this. A unicorn mermaid vibe for this makeup look hasn't he I just put a bit on the top lip yeah I think that's why I don't use this highlight a lot I think I'm just not too keen on the color of it once it's on your face but like honestly it's not that bad it's quite pigmented which I'm super impressed with to use a blush in this look and he picked this blush which is the Maximo mineral blush if you didn't say i did a full face of home bargains makeup which is this maximum range literally like the other week and this is how i've got this in my collection because i literally got it the other week i don't use it i've never used it since that video but sean wanted me to use it so i'm just gonna put a bit of this on it's actually i remember it being a really pretty blush color yeah like it is it's like a nice rosy brush color i think it's quite nice I'm not a blush person though, like I never really wear blush, I always just wear, um, I feel like that highlight's not blended in properly. Yeah, I'm not a blush person though, I don't really wear blush, I always just go for like a good strong bronze and not a blush, but I'm not mad at that, like, I, d I do think it's pretty, especially in the summer when you just add a little bit of pink to your cheeks, it's really nice. Okay, what else did he pick for us? I've just got everything like laid behind the camera, so I'm sorry if I'm like all over the place looking for stuff. Mascara Sean picked for me to use is this Ted Baker mascara, and this is just in this rose gold packaging. I literally got this in a set for Christmas. Um, it's okay, but it is kind of running out. Okay. <laughs> okay, and now moving on, final. Oh no, not final. I've got my lips and then my setting spray. So for lips, Sean was very generous. And decided to pick me one of my worst colours 
in lips at the minute i used to love it but i'm just not about it now and it clashes very hard with my eyes and it's purple it's a gorgeous purpley color for me to wear on my lips it's a color that i absolutely oops it's just like a purpley color and i'm not about it but yeah this is my gorgeous lip i'm not really feeling the lip color I just not really about the purples recently um not feeling the lip but now i just have to use the setting spray and the setting spray you wanted us to use is this new new york new look setting spray and it's just called fix makeup setting spray i actually don't mind this setting spray um i used to use it all the time but now i always use my mario badescu but <sighs> and waft wafted off wafted off wafted off this is my full makeup look chosen by my generous boyfriend sean um interesting color combination to say the least purple lip green eyes i mean i don't know what he was trying to get with this but i'm not sure if this will have been his intended outcome um overall the pan stick was disastrous to use as a foundation and i never use it i only ever use it to contour but even then i don't use it that often so i'm not a big fan of that but i mean it's not too bad it's just quite patchy um honestly though the green on the eyes i'm not hating that as much as i thought like i was like oh my god you're taking the piss here when he picked it but i'm not actually hating that the dark green i don't like in the crease collab but the bright green i'm quite feeling it like i feel like that's a vibe i feel like i could actually use that um the purple lips is definitely not for me though i don't like the purple lips it's just not the type of color that i like on my lips and i don't think it flatters us very much but yeah this is my overall finished look chosen by sean i hope that you've enjoyed this makeup challenge video i don't often do them but if you'd like to see more challenges let me know in the comments below and let's try and smash a thousand thumbs up it would mean the absolute world to me and yeah without further rat -a -tat -tat, i'll see you very shortly for another video bye